Come on, tell me to get dressed because I literally cannot even put my leggings on on my own. Or I got you. You okay? Yeah, I'm good now. <laughs> it's just once them contractions hit, woo! Yeah, just trying to breathe. Take your breath away. I got you. Okay. Come on. You excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. <laughs> Although it's painful, I'm very, very excited. You're gonna have to stand up. Hold on. Stop. Okay. Your feet are so swollen right now. I know. <laughs> I feel like I'm like getting a lot of fluid right now. What top are you on? Are you gonna contract me? Yeah. I take my hand. Breathe, dude. Breathe. This is crazy. Like this is really happening right now. Just put my tank top on, get a little hoodie. Cause gonna put the stuff in the car and then we'll be on our way. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so we are officially headed to the hospital. I know you guys are a little confused right now because last night we was at the hospital and then now we're here, but we'll explain everything in another video. We are headed to the hospital right now. You guys, oh just my god, this is crazy. This journey has been crazy already. <sighs> it's been I've tough. Literally been in pre labor or latency labor for over 40 hours now, but mm -hmm. I'm just so happy we just came to the doctor's appointment. They said that my water finally broke. Yes. And I'm freaking five centimeters. Five centimeters. Dilated. 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 Yeah. I don't know how I like got through all those hours. That was like the craziest pain, but yeah, so oh my gosh, I just feel like I don't know. I'm just so happy right now. I want my baby boy out. See you, I'm so excited oh. right now. I cannot wait. All right, just long story short, we got sent back home last night from the hospital. They discharged us again. Actually, that was two nights ago. Well, yeah, two nights ago, and literally all yesterday, Rissa been through pain. She literally couldn't sleep all night, and we finally went to her doctor's appointment today. And and they found out that she's five centimeters dilated and that her water did break. So it's a long story. We're going to explain everything in another video, but we're about to head to the hospital. We're super excited. I hope you guys are excited. My Baby doctor, Roberts is on the way. Oh, my gosh. said that he should be here this afternoon. This afternoon. He's excited to deliver him. And we just had an ultrasound of him. And his head is, like, perfectly down. Oh, his my gosh. Is everything perfect. is perfect. And I just love my baby so much. Yep, he's practicing his breathing. So by the time he gets here, he could breathe on his own. Oh, my gosh. God, I'm just so excited Very right now. Excited, I'm overfilled with excitement and joy right now. I just can't wait to meet my son. So we're about to head to the hospital. You ready, babe? Yes. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll see y'all when we get to the hospital. I honestly was not expecting our labor and delivery vlog to start like this at all. And I look crazy, you guys. I literally have gotten zero sleep in over 40 hours. This no exaggerating. crazy. Like, I have gotten zero sleep. I have bags under my eyes. I'm exhausted. But I'm just so happy that it's, like, finally happening because I was telling Claude, I'm like, I cannot keep going with this. Like, I cannot go 72 hours strong, with babe. this. You uh, did it. You're strong. You did it. I know. You guys don't understand what we've been through for the past few days. Like, I know. we literally got discharged from the hospital twice. Yeah, but honestly... <laughs> You guys probably think we're crazy, but we're literally at McDonald's drive through right now because I have not ate anything this morning yeah, and it's 10 a.m. right now. And they said once I get to the hospital, I can't eat anything because they're going to hook me up to IVs and all that. So I was like, oh, heck no, ain't no way. I'm about to go all day in labor yeah. without eating. You got to put something in your stomach, but yeah. I can't believe you're so strong, man. You're a warrior. Thank you you going to get baby boy out today. Yeah. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that I'm about to see my son's face for the first time today like and be able to hold my baby in my mm -hmm. arms. Oh. We both want to get the hold out baby. I'm about to get a contraction. Okay. okay. Nah, but this is surreal. Like, you guys do not understand what we've been through for these past few days. Like, uh. literally, we got discharged from the hospital twice. Two oh. nights in a row. And Rissa has been going through pain for, like, four days now. So, Every this four is, like, five crazy. Minutes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to call my mom and my dad and let them know the news. I know she's going to be super excited. 
This is crazy. Hey, son. Hey, mom. It's happening. Yes. It's yes, happening. we're on the way to the hospital. <laughs> Y'all on your way? Yes. You we just stopped. Yeah, we just stopped to get something to eat real quick. Riss is five centimeters dilated. Oh, my God. I told you I know my baby coming. Yeah, they said that he should be here by, like, the afternoon today. Oh, my God. So, oh, she's in the hospital. No, right I'm now we just stopped it. Yeah, we just went to the doctor's Let appointment. Let me see your face. She's doing good. Hi, baby. I'm your <laughs> Honestly, I feel like it could have been worse. It was, oh, it's been okay. bad. No, it's been really bad. But I, I wasn't expecting to be five centimeters dilated already. I thought I was like only. I, yes. I thought I was at like two, and I was like, oh my god, I cannot go all the way to ten. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but she I'm was in pain there. all night. I know you yes. Guys are so excited. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh. We just went to stop and get her son to eat because once she gets to the hospital, yes, she can't yes. eat. Yeah. Please remember, I don't care if I'm working. In the labor room, I am in the labor uh, room. I'm gonna make sure we call you and we have you on FaceTime. I promise, mommy. Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, I All love right. you. Get on your way. Hey, Dad. Yes, Mr. Uh, Guess where we're headed? To the hospital. Yep. Uh, yes. <laughs> he's on his way and he's coming quick. He's on his way. Yes, Rissa. is five centimeters dilated. You okay? Oh, oh shit. My gosh, something just came out. Oh shit. Oh my god. More water. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, we gotta get going. All right, we're about to go right now. All right, oh all right. I love you, Dad. I'll keep Yo. you updated. Uh, I'll you back, bro. I will. You guys, literally sitting here, and there was a huge gush of something. Right, oh. Let's go. Okay, let's we go. finally got to the hospital. I'm in a lot of pain right now. We're about to head up. I already know the seat is filled with so much fluid right now. Oh my God. Okay, I'll see you guys when we get up there. Okay, so we're in the delivery room right now. Riss is in a lot of pain. She's almost six centimeters dilated. So she has the IV in right now. And we're just checking, waiting to see if she can get the epidural. Very good. Yeah. She's getting a lot of contractions now. But we almost there. We're more than halfway there. And Riss can't express how I'm feeling right now. I'm super excited. You wanna take my hand? I got you. It's my baby right there. You're a beast. Once we, okay, so once we get you settled, okay. Perfect. Alright, child. So, Rissa just got the epidural. Her mom just arrived, and she's feeling much better right now. She's just laying down, relaxing. She's doing such a great job. I'm so proud of her. Like, literally, she's been through so much pain, and she's just like cleaning it up. Rissa's literally a beast. I'm happy that she's feeling better now, and basically, I'm about to go downstairs to the car and start to bring the bags up and stuff. So. Yeah. So if it gets too painful, I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so a lot been going on. So about an hour ago, Rissa got her epidural. She's all good now, right, babe? Oh my Feeling gosh, much guys, that was like the best thing I ever did. <laughs> not gonna lie, babe, I was super impressed. Like, you're super strong. I take back anything I ever said about you uh -huh. and anything about you whining or anything, like, you're strong, Talk okay? about baby and dramatic. And I admit it, you're stronger than me. <laughs> it looked like you was in a lot of pain and you was handling it well. Yeah, so. I got all the way to like six centimeters, you guys, and then I was like, you know what? Give me that epidural. Six centimeters. That's that's crazy. Yeah. They were like, most women, when they reach that point, like, <laughs> they be out of it. So, like, you handled it very well. They said you handled it very well. Yeah. And I'm just happy that you don't feel any pain anymore. Yeah, I feel so much better. Like, the pain is, like, at, like, a one right yeah. now. And Thank I feel God. better. I'm actually about to do my hair and my makeup just to look a little bit more presentable because I look Still freaking looking crazy. Still looking good. You're looking good. <laughs> I look crazy. And I'm so hungry. I'm so upset because we, like, went up to the doctors early this morning so I didn't have time to eat. We tried to get me something from McDonald's, as you guys saw in the clip. Yeah. And then I just got a huge gush of just fluid coming out. I think that we caught it when you were on FaceTime with your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Rissa's five centimeters dilated. You okay? Oh, shit. Gush or something just came out. Oh, shit. More water? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. We gotta get going. We had to rush to the oh, hospital. That's crazy. I was like, all right, never mind. Thank so God the eat. hospital was right there. Yeah, we were like, we were like three, three minutes, minutes from the hospital, but I'm able to eat like uh, clear fluids and stuff. So I'm drinking ice water and I had jello. And my mom and Quan are over here eating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're grabbing it out, but I just wanna say I'm proud of you. Thank and you. I'm just so happy that that's over with because it was just so hard for me to see you in pain like that. Like I started feeling the pain. Oh. Yeah, seriously. But okay, let me show y'all what we're working with. So the hospital had asked me if I wanted food and look what they bought for me they bought me Ooh, a chicken yummy. sandwich this is supposed to be a chicken sandwich and it got cheese on it and tater tots so I was like nah that doesn't look edible so I grabbed up some McDonald's for me and then her mom got like 
the whole menu from Panera Bread. I love Panera, you guys. <laughs> that salad so looks great. Green salad. Aww. I know you're hungry, babe. Yeah. We'll order you one for after. Yeah, yeah we got after you. After I push this baby out. Yep. Um, I went down, I got all the bags. I got the car seat right there, suitcase, and then there's more bags over here. So we're all set. And then also, Rissa's placenta little box <laughs> for the capsules and it's stuff. It's so funny. Every, everyone that I'm telling, like, I had to tell the nurse and the doctor, I'm like, I'm keeping my placenta just so you guys know. They're like, yeah. oh, they're like what? Hey, what you finna do with that? <laughs> I had to fill out paperwork for it and everything. Everybody was looking at me crazy when I was walking in the hospital. I had mad bags on me. They was like, yo, are they planning on staying here for weeks? Like, what's going on? On. Tell them we even consolidated down to one less bag. Oh yeah, so her mom gave us the advice to consolidate down to one bag because we had two suitcases, not just one. Well, they know. They yeah, saw our Yeah, we had two suitcases. So everything that was in the video where uh, we showed you guys what's inside of our hospital bag, we literally bought to the hospital. You know, so it was like a good six to eight bags. So we got down to like five, which is still a lot, but we got down to like five. We're gonna have to do a video of showing you guys what we actually use in our hospital bag because we had way too much stuff. Hopefully and then, we in and out of here. Yeah, because depending on the time that we deliver today, so it's only 12.48 right now. Mm -hmm. So it's not even 1 p.m. yet. So depending on the time that he's delivered, we could possibly leave tomorrow. Well, the doctor said he should be here by the afternoon. He did say so, that. So fingers crossed. Because I'm progressing quickly like, <laughs> I'm actually like dilating now, which I'm so happy about because before I wasn't dilating. But you're dilating quickly, like yeah, that happened fast, right? You already got the sick. So I'm not gonna lie, Rissa's dilating quickly because the thing is, we went to her doctor's appointment earlier this morning, and uh, the doctor checked her and said that she was five centimeters dilated. So he immediately told us to come straight to the hospital. So we hopped in the car. We just stopped at McDonald's real quick. It only took like five minutes, right? Mm -hmm. I just went to tell my parents, and we just went to eat real quick. But then the they were progressing. Yeah, the gush came out, so we rushed to the hospital, which was like three minutes away. So we got here within like 15 minutes from her first doctor's appointment to the hospital. So I don't understand how she's six centimeters dilated now. Within like, that time. Yeah, within that time, 15 minutes. So it you're probably, dilating quick. Even quicker than that, possibly. But all I know is once I was feeling no contractions at six, I'm like, okay, I cannot go all the way to 10 like this. I need the epidural. You was handling it well, though. I was like a little nervous. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, it hurt, but I feel like it could have been worse, you know? Yeah, but your water broke, broke. It was like, gushing, it, guys. It was all it got over the place. All over. It was all, all over, over the, the hallway. Wheelchair, all over the wheelchair, wheelchair. All over the room. They yeah. cleaned it up and stuff. It so. was bad. But yeah, it was everywhere. I'm about to do my makeup and my hair, you guys. So I'm going to show you guys once I get beautified because yep, yep. my son has to see me looking all beautiful. <laughs> you don't love his mom, regardless. You always look beautiful. Thank you, man. Hello? Hello? Grandma? Yeah. Guess what? What? Riss is in labor. Okay. <laughs> uh, she wasn't a lot of pain. She's six centimeters dilated. Yeah. Oh, she have a uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, in a two month, in labor for too long. I know, but we just got here not too long ago. She's dilating oh, quickly. Okay. So, baby boy might be here very soon. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> Our mommy did it, right? Yeah. My mom is here with us. So you know when it's your sister, Jenna, she have to make it. Oh yeah, I know. But well, I've been playing, I've been paying close attention. <laughs> right. I'm excited. Best. Best in store. Best in store. Thanks, Grandma. God, we'll carry our children. See you, Grandma. Yes, yes, he will. Okay, All I right. just wanted to let you know. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Grandma! I'm about to be a grandma. Well, I'm about to be a grandma, I guess. I know! <laughs> Yes. Uh, is she ready? Um, she's at about six centimeters. Oh, so she's going. That's well. Wow. Yeah. It's oh, going so quick. More progress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're doing good. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm super excited. Like, Juan, make sure Paula has that face on. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be in the labor room with you. Yeah, yeah. I, I told her. Don't worry. <laughs> That's right. Like once my grandson takes his first breath, yep. his first breath, <laughs> did she get contractions? Like there, it, it was heavy before, but yeah, it, was it eased up. It's probably still heavy, but she got the epidural, so she should be good now. Oh, uh, she did get the epidural. Yeah, yeah. she got the epidural. Uh -huh. I, I couldn't do it like you, Mom. You were a beast. <laughs> you had all your kids with no pain meds. Nothing. Oh. Yeah, my mom is a beast. No, you're a beast. <laughs> I was like, no. Rissa was like, no. Hell no, no I more. see that. She had to take the edge off. She's good now. She's happy. She's relaxed. Look, she over here doing her makeup, mom. Yeah, she's doing her makeup. 
Yeah. I got halfway there and I tapped out. <laughs> yeah, she got halfway there. <laughs> I just didn't want to tell her. <laughs> <laughs> Got some soup. Tastes good. Yeah, I can only drink the broth, obviously, even though I'm seeing these carrots and I want to eat them so bad. That's good but enough, though. It tastes really good, though. I'm it happy. It should be like filling, mm -hmm. tie you over for a little bit. I'm doing my makeup a little bit. Mm -hmm. but I forgot a mirror. Okay, okay, so I just got done eating all my McDonald's. I'm still Ma eating. Is still over here grubbing. I'm so hungry. When I said she ordered half of Panera's <laughs> menu, I wasn't joking. Look, come on. I this had is soup like your too. First sandwich, soup. It's my first sandwich. You had like three salads. I had and then one she salad. She has more food in here. I, a I got a cookie. And they send chips. You guys know who eats Panera, chips. they give you chips. Oh my gosh. Yeah, starving. You gotta stop. Over here acting like she the one pregnant. Eating <laughs> mad food. I'm just sipping on my tea. But yeah, we just chilling. Just waiting for baby boy to make his way into this world. But yeah, over there just relaxing, doing her makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in labor. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at six already. Probably more now, but I was at five at my doctor's appointment. But you just like snapped overnight. I was going through it for 40 plus hours. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Cam. Yo, Cam was good, boy. Yeah. Bye today. Yeah, low man, I'll have to be here soon. Did you get your epidural yet or no? Why do you think she's channeling like this? <laughs> You're probably farther along now then. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They probably just about letting seven. me like ride out with my contractions and then they'll check again. That's exciting. Well, good luck. I love you. Thank you. Love you guys. I'll call you later. Yeah, thanks y'all. Bye tomorrow. All right, we'll keep y'all updated. Oh yeah, y'all. I forgot to show y'all this, but let me show y'all the shirt I got under this. You already know what's going on. Soon to be daddy. Soon to be daddy. His feet are probably gonna actually be this little. Right? <laughs> so little. And it's just so crazy that I got the shirt on and then you so happen to go into labor today, right? That is crazy. What a coincidence. <laughs> How you feeling? Feeling good. I'm, I can feel the contractions, but obviously the pain is not there. Yeah. I can just feel when they're happening, and I still have like the back pain, like the back labor, because uh -huh. I'm one of those people that get back labor. So. Yeah, I cannot believe your back is so swollen. Oh yeah, the team Russ and Kwan, yeah. Russ's back is swollen, like yeah. it's like a lump right above her buttocks. <laughs> I know that's a little TMI, but I've never like, seen yeah, nothing like that before. It was so. crazy. Like I was looking in the mirror because I was getting contractions for literally over 40 hours. I went as part, like we said. So yeah. like. The the whole circumference of like my cervix and my back was getting the contractions and my back literally got swollen and like yeah. was changing color like it was turning it black looked and blue. inflamed that's yeah. how i knew you was like in serious pain i was like yeah. damn yeah it was it's like a little whole lump on her back like a camel <laughs> like, whoa you seen a lump huh well, it did not look like a camera. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to drag it, but you did have a big well, lump on your back, and I'm pretty sure it got worse. Yeah, Kwan was trying to rub it out. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. So, Russell was like having a contraction, right? I was like uh, standing by her. This before they give her out the door. And usually, when she squeezed my hand, it's not that bad. She almost broke my fingers. <laughs> I swear to God, she, yo, I thought she was going to break my the hand. The strength that a woman has yes. is unbelievable during birth, right? Yeah, I'm like, yo, since when Russell got this strong, like, the grip was dead. Like, Are you okay? I'm okay now. I, I, I started pulling my hand away. I <laughs> Do put you my need hand... a brace or anything? You're good. <laughs> no, I'm good. But I put my hand out because she's like reaching for my yeah, hand to grip. And she squeezed, like, I think it was the way you were squeezing my hand. You squeezed, squeezed the top. all the fingers yeah, together. Yeah, the top, all the fingers together. <laughs> Almost broke my damn hand. I was like, oh, the nah. Like, it's not about you. Yeah, so <laughs> next time when you push again, like when you get the push and stuff, I gotta hold it different. I'm holding your hand with two hands. Okay, okay? just in case. Let her squeeze your arm. Yeah, I'm gonna let you squeeze my arm. It's okay. like in the, um, when we practiced the home water birth and yeah. I was squeezing your hand. Yeah, but that time you was digging your nails yeah, into me. I cut my nails down. Yeah. yeah. Rissa is about to take a nap. I guess me and Ma is just going to sit here and chat. We're going to shop. We're going to shop online, Oh, yeah, shop. Guys. Do some Christmas shopping. Yeah. And we'll get back to you guys when Rissa starts to feel pressure down there because the nurse said whenever she starts feeling a little pressure down in that area and okay. by her buttocks go to let her know ASAP because that means okay. it's coming. So we'll see y'all and keep that with you in a bit. Mm -hmm. My feet feel cold, but Kwan said they're not cold. I don't know. They're mad warm. You said they're numb, right? I can't even move my left leg. Like. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you, babe. I'm about to take a nap, you guys, because I haven't gotten sleep in over 40 hours. Yeah, I think you need a nap. So I don't want to be tired when I have to push. You guys have fun. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, let's play patty cake, Ma. <laughs> so it is exactly 2.30 p.m. Baby boy should be arriving within the next three or four hours. And I'm just super excited. Like, it's kind of like surreal to me right now. It's really crazy that I'm actually about to see my baby. Like, he's actually about to be here. Like, we're about to have our baby in our arms. Like, he's finally gonna take his first breath and everything. I'm gonna be able to look my baby boy in his eyes and just see his face and just kiss him up and stuff. It's just a different feeling. And I know I'm gonna be crying like a baby when I see him. So like, I just can't wait. I'm beyond excited. And I'm just being as patient as I possibly can. But this is crazy. It's a whole different feeling. Like I knew it would be like this, but like just being in the moment right now is just different. I just couldn't thank Rissa enough. She's given me the greatest gift that I could possibly ask for. And just to see her go through this and have to go through all this to bring our son into this world just makes me appreciate her more and more, you know. So I'm just gonna chill, relax, let her rest, and hopefully he comes soon. So guys, I'm still chilling and I haven't gotten checked again to see how far dilated I am, but I'm starting to feel like contractions again like a little sharper not anything crazy but they gave me this little button next to me that like if it wears off too much and I start getting in too much pain I could hit it and it'll give me like more of the medicine so yeah I'm doing very good but now we're just playing the waiting game I'm just so excited to meet my baby boy you guys I just don't even know what to say I can't wait to see his little face and kiss my baby I'm so excited I just hope that the rest of like the delivery goes smoothly because this whole labor experience has been a little crazy for me <laughs> but no i know i got this but yeah i'm just hoping that the delivery is like smooth and i can push them out easily you know but yeah just waiting and we'll update you guys in a little bit okay guys so it's currently three o'clock right now and the doctor just came in and checked me again and i'm officially seven centimeters dilated well i was like 6.95 they said but close enough they said that i'm progressing very well especially for this being like my first pregnancy and labor and delivery and everything Things, so that's really good and they also said baby boy's head is really really low already and my cervix is like this thin so looking like it's gonna be showtime very soon I'm just happy that I'm progressing quickly because I didn't want to have to like get Pitocin like I didn't have to you know I'm just happy that my body's doing its thing so let's hope it keeps doing its thing okay you guys so we're getting close and closer and closer you ready babe I am you got this. I'm gonna be so right here, every step of the way. I just asked them, I was like, can you guys please make sure that you have mirrors in here? Cause I wanna be able to see like him when he's coming out. This is like saying everything goes smoothly, uh -huh. like, you know. And then also they said that I could like touch his head if I wanted to and stuff, so. Sure you wanna do all that? <laughs> Why not? I mean, hopefully you would be know, focused and be I'm able to do all that at the time, but you might be going through a lot of pain. Yeah, it depends how but I'm you feeling. you got this. You got this. We're going to support you. Me and mom got you. See, I'm feeling a little bit more. I'm just hoping that you get him out very soon. Everybody's hoping that he comes like ASAP, but yeah. it's all up to him. My know? doctor is super excited to deliver him and everything. Yeah. We have such a good crew on right now, you Everybody's guys. Like, excited. The nurses are awesome. The doctor is awesome. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been awesome. The anesthesiologist was so good. He did it like so quick and like painless and he was talking me through it it was just like really good i'm just so happy that the medicine helped did you're it. doing so good it's like you're not even in labor right now <laughs> i'm feeling it the like way I you're functioning feel yeah the back labor because they said like the epidural doesn't always take away like back labor mm -hmm. definitely the contractions and stuff so i still feel like my back but not like earlier it was yeah. horrible as earlier. long as it's not like earlier that's all that matters yeah. because i it can tell that she's in a lot of pain yeah but bad. yeah we getting there we getting closer and closer but guys can i be honest baby boy i'm so hungry <laughs> i know you're hungry i cannot wait to eat we got you as soon as you push him out me and mom is gonna order you like a, a whole salad. buffet <laughs> she said a Greek salad, Greek salad. <laughs> Yeah, no. you're not gonna want no salad. I <laughs> no, know that. No, I need salad with chicken. Yeah, I want a Greek salad because earlier she had one from Panera and it looked good. It was delicious. Okay, we'll get you a Greek salad. I gotta salad. be on my healthy stuff after this. So. Sure. I know how you eat. I don't know. I want to And when you're hungry, you turn it to a beast. So <laughs> I'm gonna order you a nice little buffet full of food. I'm gonna get you like basically like a whole thanksgiving Whatever dinner I want. yeah i got you sounds good yeah so we just gonna wait and as soon as she's ready to push i'm gonna let you guys know are you ready to see and watch yeah everything? i'm ready don't i'm more than ready yeah, yeah do not, not pass, pass out. out pass out if you're crazy out, i'm gonna have that on camera <laughs>
But if I pass out, I pass out. We're gonna catch that one. Nah, I, I'm gonna be good. Trust me. I want to see every single moment. You ever of see it. those videos where like the dad's watching his wife deliver or something, and oh, they gotta bring a chair? Backwards. Yeah, they gotta bring nah, a chair. I know. It's, I know it's gonna look crazy. It's gonna make your knees weak. I know it's gonna okay, look crazy. Okay, this might be TMI, but Quan <laughs> saw when the doctor was going to check me, and I was six centimeters. Exactly. Well, I was seven. He walked by real quick from the bathroom, and he was like, "I was like, damn, <laughs> it looked crazy. It looked different down there, but." <laughs> Listen, I understand and it's not like I'm traumatized or anything. Like I, I know what comes with delivering and pregnancy and stuff. So I'm ready for it. I'm prepared for it. And I just can't wait to see my son. Like I can't wait to see my son. So this is gonna be a crazy experience. It is. I'm so happy to be experiencing it with you, little baby. My real good support. Me too. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't want to do it with anyone else. I love you and you got this, okay? I love you too. You can feel them now? The pressure? Yeah. No, it's not the pressure. I'm feeling contraction, but it's weird because it's in my groin. And then Getting the back. Close. My back later. Brissa is now eight centimeters dilated. We're reaching the finish line. Baby boy is almost here. Oh, no, you're in a lot of pain. Yeah, we got you. Just hold tight, baby. You got this. So, Rissa is now eight centimeters dilated. But the problem is, baby boy is face up. So, we need his face downwards. So, right now, they're trying to have Rissa lay in a certain position so that he can flip over and be face down instead of face up so that the delivery is more smooth. So, we're just hoping that he decides to turn around yeah. so that we can have a nice smooth <laughs> delivery. But this is crazy. It's happening. So, Rissa has like this peanut bowl in between her legs right now as she lays on her side just hoping baby boy flips over but she's just trying to rest for right now god we're getting there we're getting there so rich is starting to feel pressure down there so i think he's about to come the doctor is about to come in and check hopefully she's ready okay y'all i think it's time we think it's time he's coming the doctor's coming in right now just wish us a safe delivery I'm to meet my son i can't wait hey. and Push, push. You're a good pusher. <laughs> Pretend like um, you have a baby carriage and you're going up here, right? And you're pushing it up towards the hill. Huh? Do you ever watch uh, uh, football games of the Dallas Cowboys? Uh, not that specifically. So Dallas Cowboys, we usually do uh, you know, throw the ball and uh, catch the ball. <laughs> so that's how, the, that's, that's how it pushes. Because I'm catching it up here. Right? <laughs>
Nah, seriously. I'm serious. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>